YouTube? My name is Jasmine and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Alright you guys, so as you guys saw by the title and thumbnail, y'all already know what video we're doing today. I want to do like a high school advice type of video of things I wish I knew before I started high school. Just all that stuff. So honestly, none of this stuff is like in a category. This is just everything. Just I kind of wrote a bunch of stuff down in my notes. So I'm going to just go from there to be honest. Like I really don't have any like anything that's like set. And so we're just going to go based off of my notes. So first things first, um, when I started high school, make sure you learn your schedule. It is good to learn your schedule at least within the first week or if you get it a week before school starts, then just make sure that you study it just a little bit just so that way you know where you're going and it makes you feel a little bit less embarrassed even though everybody, like nobody will know where you're going unless they've kind of already like had that class or like they just remember where the room is. Um, just kind of learn your schedule. I know every time I started school or like a week before, I I would get my schedule and I would literally make sure I studied it just so I know where I was going. So yeah. Make friends. Um, especially your freshman year, you really do need to make friends because the groups form really fast and people make friends within their first two periods sometimes. Just it kind of just depends. But just make sure that you have friends and be yourself. When it comes to oh my god, I've seen so many people try to act like other people like within my high school years middle school years like just be yourself you don't need to act like somebody else you don't need to be doing the absolute most just be yourself join a sport a club or get a job so especially if you start in high school um you literally could get a job as a freshman but most jobs now are um hiring from 16 and up so if i were you i would just wait until you're 16 and then you know start working and save up your money especially if you know you're going to college get a job and save up your money your freshman year and like really like hold on to your money because if you want to go to college you gonna need that money same thing with joining the sport and stuff like that like really get involved when it comes to school because those joining sports and stuff like that like cheer dance um football basketball like all that stuff you can literally earn like scholarships from that so make sure that you like really taking advantage of that stuff like i said earlier pretty much start saving now so even if you're in middle school and you're you're getting an allowance save that money i understand that you want to go shopping with friends and stuff like that but save your money because school nowadays is super expensive college is expensive as hell like it's ridiculous and gen z got it bad like we have the worst part of it because everything is going up in prices so it makes it a little bit harder for us to find like housing and stuff like that because it's so expensive build your confidence being in high school that's like the perfect time to like build your confidence and like figure out who you are as a person so like definitely work on like building your confidence if you haven't already next thing i would say stay out of drama i'm real big on staying out of drama so please make sure that you're not involved in no type of mess i understand that y'all be wanting to hear the tea but don't go pour the tea in somebody else's cup like don't do that don't be messy just kind of stay to yourself or hang out with your friend group and don't be messy don't start no fights because like that just y'all if y'all knew how messy my local school was like the school like that i the in-person school that i would have been going to if y'all would have known how messy that school was y'all would have been like girl like just stay out of drama honestly when it comes to going into your freshman year nobody really cares about what you're doing like nobody judging you for real nobody cares about what you're doing they could really care less oh y'all this is a big one study 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 i know that like like some people will tell you oh you don't have to study you could just use like nowadays you can really just use like an ai to give you the answers but you really do got to study because teachers know about y'all think teachers are dumb like they know about the ais so if you freaking take a, a write an essay they literally have machines that can see how much of the ai you use so like you really gotta like study and be on top of your a game especially like your first two years of high school not saying that the rest of your high school years aren't important because they are but you like the first two years you really gotta like be on your sh same thing is with completing assignments don't complete your assignments last minute don't wait the the night before to complete the assignment get the assignment when it's get get it done when it's given to you that way on the weekends you don't have to worry about doing work you can kind of chill relax be with friends and family and stuff like that like really take like hold yourself accountable of getting your work done become friends with your teachers like that's a good thing that i learned that 
really does work become friends with your teachers because if I would have known this like a long long time ago I'm pretty sure my grades could have been looking like straight A's teachers teachers really do love their students like to be honest but like they'll be they'll be wanting to help you more because like they're like okay I really like this student this student is this this student is that I can see how hard they're trying da, 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 da. so just make sure that you become friends with some of your teachers and a bonus is that nine times out of ten they'll bump up your grade just because like y'all are cool you know so don't accept anything less than an 80. i feel like that's really self-explanatory i used to tell myself don't accept anything less than a 70 but no i'm up in the score so don't accept anything less than an 80. to stay motivated surround yourself with positive with positivity and stay around people that's like that makes you happy that's kind of sort of how i stay motivated if you're a junior be cool with the seniors like just be cool with them because you can kind of get away with stuff kind of sort of pretty much leave campus with them sometimes if your school allows it you can you know elite leave campus with them and stuff like that and honestly the junior and um senior duos are always cool but the freshman and senior duos are always cool like just you know just be cool with the seniors just to be cool with them you know there's nothing wrong with being cool with them if you having trouble in class or like you kind of struggling with um a certain topic in class attend study hall or tutorials it's okay to ask questions in class it's literally nothing wrong with asking your teacher or raising your hand saying hey i don't understand this nobody is gonna make fun of you because you don't freaking understand something because at the end of the day y'all are all in the same environment and y'all literally all are at school to learn so nobody is going to judge you for for being a smarty pants in class and saying oh i know the answer to this like literally teachers enjoy that it's really nothing wrong with doing that um if you want to graduate early um i would suggest taking to a credits and doing online summer school or like taking classes um during the summer or whatever or just take classes online in general that will help you so this goes specifically towards my seniors class of 2025 i'm talking to you this this the, and also y'all ignore me if i'm looking down at my phone like i said i have everything written on here but this is for specifically my seniors this literally all of this stuff goes towards you so first things first is figure out your future whether that's going to college the army workforce um trade school or entertainment etc it literally doesn't matter but you need to figure it out if you haven't figured it out already for i can speak for myself especially when i say i was like my whole four years of high school everybody would literally ask me okay jazz what are you doing after high school i'll be like oh well, i'm gonna do this oh well, i'm gonna do this oh well, i'm gonna do this da, 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 da. have a plan a a b a c a d a, a, a. like literally have a plan like, so and i really do wish that i would have like really took advantage of thinking about that harder because at the time i really didn't want to talk about it because it stress it was stressing me out because i'm i'm a freshman in high school i'm just starting high school and y'all are asking me well what are you going to do after you graduate like it just bothered me to the point where i didn't want to talk about it and then once senior year it finally came i was like oh like what am i going to do but obviously i have it figured out now i know what i'm going to do and stuff like that so it's all good but don't wait until your senior year to do it and that goes for freshmen too do not wait for your senior year to do stuff so if you don't have it figured out, figure it out. If you're going to college, start looking into colleges. Like today. You should have been did that though. Like start looking into that stuff. If you need a break from school, it is nothing wrong with telling your parents that, hey, I, I need a break from school. I'm stressed out and it's just a lot going on. Your senior year, I feel like senior year is like the most stressful year because you have to take your, if you live in the state of Texas, then you know you have to take your star test. You have to worry about all of these exams. Like it's just so much and it can just take a toll on you. So it's nothing wrong with taking a break from school. I'm not saying don't show up to school for five months, but like just take a break from school every now and then if you need it um take advantage of any opportunities whether that's scholarships whether that's internships whether that's like in anything of that sort take advantage of that stuff because it'll look good on your resume and it's also helping you in school it's benefiting you so take advantage of that stuff apply for scholarships if you can me personally i don't think my school allowed it or like we had anything like that so i wasn't able to do it but if you can do do that um stay positive throughout high school i know it's stressful like i said but you have to stay positive and push through take advantage oh y'all take advantage of all your senior activities me personally we didn't really have a lot of senior activities besides prom and graduation so um if i was going into if i was doing in-person school then of course i would have been able to do senior sunrise senior sunset homecoming um spirit week all of those fun things the little football games like all of that stuff i would have been able to participate in that if i wasn't doing online so a message from me to you take advantage of that stuff um 
even senior skip day or senior ditch day, like take advantage of that stuff because you only could do it once. And I really wish that I had my chance to do that, but unfortunately I didn't. And honestly, I don't feel bad about it because I mean, I don't care anymore. I graduated and it is what it is. But with that being said, um, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I understand I was talking, if, I, if it seemed like I was talking too fast, it's because I am because I have a lot of content. Like I'm literally like on a content bash right now. So I'm trying to bash content just in one day. So stay tuned for all of the fun content content coming up thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys so much and without further ado i will see you guys in the next video bye